Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps today. Look at this new background I've got. Stainless steel. Bought it for the kitchen. Didn't work. I'm using it in the office for now. But anyway, look what I got. Look what I got. This has been in my collection for a long, long time. I bought it locally here in uh, Ottawa. Look at that. It's been used. It's loved. But just look at it. Aliens, this time it's war. There are some places in the universe you don't go alone. By Leading Edge Games. This is just beautiful. It came out at the same time as the second movie, of course. Aliens, this time it's war. One express elevator to hell going down. Ripley is returning to the desolate world where she lost her first crew to the alien horror. This time, she is with a squad of tough, experienced marines. Together, their job is to determine the status of the colonial settlement, but it's too late for the colonists. Now even the marines will be lucky to get out alive. Join Ripley, Hicks, Hudson, Vasquez, 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 and the rest of the colonial marines in their struggle for survival against the deadly aliens. From the first terrifying encounter to the cinematic battle against the alien queen, contains everything you need 33 inch by 17 inch full color map 47 full color stand-up counters 19 character cards and a 32 page rule book oh and look at the pictures iconic imagery from that movie aliens 1986 20th century fox all rights reserved now it's rare that you see this, or at least for me it was rare, so I had to nab it when I had the opportunity. Like I said, it's been played, but the previous owner did look after everything, so I did check, it's all here. I'm not missing anything, so let's unpack the box, and then we'll pack our way back into the box, I think is the easiest way to go about it. And there you go, bottom of the box, right. Move that off to the side. Nice little uh, four page rule summary. I am not gonna go over the rules with you guys. I have not played this. This is gonna nicely sit on my shelf as a display piece for now. I do not wanna damage it too much, but it tells you how to prepare the die that you need, which is 10 sided sequence. How aliens move, how people move, actions, how they appear, combat, firing at aliens, acid spray, how to fight in combat, if you're there you're, you're in trouble, and carrying incapacitated marines. The rule book, classic low quality 1980s, look at that glorious image of Ripley, Newt and the Queen in black and white. Look at this Legionnaire Leading Edge published four times a year. This magazine for five dollars a month or five dollars. A one year subscription is just five dollars. Oh my god, so cheap! Look at that, and then some uh, weapon system Living Steel Aliens Aliens Expansion. What? Oh my days, there's an expansion. I did not know that. I need to look out for that one. Shows you why you should open up these books now and again. Then a role-playing game. Due for spring in 1990. Uh, we got some additional rules in the back here. Like I said, I'm not going through everything. We're just going to have a look. But yeah, Ripley and the Queen... Alien first appearance. What is going on? This is just the story. Scenario two. Oh my god, that was just the scenario. Hang on, what is this book? Read this first for players who want to get straight started straight away. The four page rule summary has the highlight of the rules presented in a simple, straightforward way. Go ahead, read the summary, set up the reactor room, and start playing. When you're not sure how a rule works, just refer to the rule book. In general, you should be able to find your way using a little common sense. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. 
So we got page one is the rules that make this makes more sense. Let's go the correct way through. It talks about actions, movement, marine combat, and then page twelve. So twelve pages of rules, and then we go into the scenarios where we have the reactor room, which seems to be the just marine shooting at aliens. Then you go into the air ducts. Oh no, thank you. Terrifies me. And it looks like Ripley versus the Queen. And then the movie scenario. And then we got some additional rules. That's so cool. I'm going to have to have a proper read. Oh, I obviously got the expansion in this box. Oh, my days. I did not realize. There we go. The expansion booklet made of a better quality than the uh, original rule book. That's comical. I did not know I had this in here. Expansion rules it has face huggers in the Alien Queen, dropship, rescue newt, marine assault, hunt for the queen, complete movie scenario, and some new scenarios. So there's an expansion map, century card sheet, this rule book. So there wasn't actually much more. I guess that's in there then. Just shows you how much I was paying attention. Pretty much the same setup as the main rules. Oh, dear. damn. Given the ammunition restrictions, a backup weapon, though. Firing through Marines. Aim time, tournament rules. Could you imagine playing this in a tournament? Legionnaire still only costs $5. So, turns out we got a few things then. That makes sense, because I got two maps. I was a bit confused by that. So this is the reference card that I think the expansion came with. It talks, has a acid spray, grenade table, alien. Ooh. ooh a face hugger, the queen. Bonus room, which is, oh, it's on the Nostrama, Ripley versus the queen. And then you got the uh, air duck over here. The power loader rules. Queen versus power loader. Let me know in the comments if you want me to try and work out how to play this game. <laughs> and I'll give it a go. I'm not going to guarantee that it will ever happen. But if enough of you say yes, then obviously the interest is there for it. This is a glorious map. I have no idea what I'm looking at. This looks like the... Oh... oh just look at the pictures it's telling me. This is the office where they uh, hold up and they're fighting off the aliens for a bit and then they climb into the air duct. Is my guess for that. And at some point, Vasquez pulls the grenade and blows herself up. This looks like the reactor room. Got the, uh, the stairwell pit in the middle here. So everything is on this one page. It's a glorious piece. I almost want to put it in a picture frame and keep it safe that way. And then, what have we got in this one? So it clearly says at the top that it's the expansion. I am just stupid at reading. This looks like a more in-depth reactor room. It is massive. I can't even get it on the camera camera is about two foot up in the air and I'm still not getting it all on screen because that looks like the pit on this first map yeah. how do we open it again Oop, there we go this pit here it's definitely this pit here so this is just a bigger version of the reactor then over on this side here we got Reactor damaging countdown, so you could blow up the reactor. Oh, it's such a great map. It's comical that I've had this in my collection for years. Never picked up on the fact that I had the expansion set. So I've got the whole thing. I just need the expansion book box, I guess. Now this absolutely looks like a mess now. 
let's uh, move some of these bigger cards around. 1d10. Not the most exciting dice, but it's a d10. Then there are lots and lots and lots of tokens. I don't know if the camera is going to show you this very well. But we have face hugger on one side, face hugger on the other. And then we got the alien in a creepy, <laughs> oh, welcome to my parlor pose. Lots of them. So we can quickly shift through this. Maybe I'll speed this section up. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just talk to you. I got a lot of alien stuff to go through. I got more of the RPG books from the newer set. I've also got the figures to paint. So you're going to get some more alien stuff on this channel as I drop bits on the floor. So if you are an alien fan, make sure you are liking, subscribing and all that good stuff. That's the only time I'm going to do a call to action in this video. There'll be one at the end, of course. So we just got that out of the way. This is the most damaged token I got. It isn't badly damaged. I could easily fix that with some glue. I'm just not in the process of doing that. And then we have the characters. So, oh, got a random door. Door marker. I have to put my hand behind it, otherwise it won't focus on it. And then we have some on fire tokens. Don't know if that's meant to represent people or <laughs> just areas that are on fire. Got a turn token. A few more aliens kicking around. It's so sneaky. The queen. Now, don't know if that's going to focus on her. It's not. Have to be down here. As you can see, the previous owner had glued them into the bases. Luckily, didn't really damage any of them. It isn't the end of the world. It's a good idea, actually, because they're quite wobbly in the plastic clips. But then we have the characters now, so let's start going through them. Got Drake, the smart gunner. Wabowski who was a uh, flamer. Hicks with his shotgun. Such a hero in the novels. Great character. Shame they killed him off in Alien 3, which we will not discuss. Lieutenant Gorman. Good old Burke. The company man. Uh, we got Dietrich, who I think was the other flamer unit. Correct me if I'm wrong. Apone, the sergeant. Hudson, the wisecrack. Ferrero, the pilot. Uh, Ripley, classic Ripley. Terrible picture of her. Actually, it's not her image at all. Hang on, let's see if we can get that. It's just a silhouette of some person. I guess they didn't have the rights to use are in the game. Uh, Spudmire, Oop. the other pilot, put them together. We've got Bishop, the android. Newt. Frost, he was, uh, Phil Frost had a flamer as well. And then a Ripley and a power loader, but it just shows the power loader. Once again, I guess they just didn't have the rights to show Ripley's picture and Vasquez. There you go. That is the character tokens. And very simply put, let's show with Spudmire. Carefully slide them in to the base. And they stand. Now, I have miniatures to represent all of these, luckily. So if I do ever play this game, I will probably use the miniatures rather than tokens. We then get, what do we got? Character cards for each of them. Now, we did not really go through the rules, so we've not got any idea how this works. So this side says Ferrero, 
Weapon aim, she's got flame unit and a pulse rifle. Target range, and then I guess this is what you need to maybe roll under to hit. That probably makes the most sense, because like, roll under a 12, maybe. Uh, she gets two actions, her melee is at zero, and then if she's wounded, different rolls. Then we get Spudmire. Spunk my spud. <laughs> Spunk my. I cannot read and talk at the same time. Gorman. Ripley wounded. See, there you go. Just the silhouette of Ripley. They did not own her rights. Uh, Burke. Each time someone begs Burke to open the door, Burke rolls a dice. If he rolls a zero, he opens the door. If he rolls a one to nine, he ignores them. That is quite comical. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? We got a pwn, action free melee one. So that's the first one who can actually f fight half decently in close combat. Newt, she just has tunnel knowledge, but no other stats. At each decision square, Newt must roll a six or less to remember the direction. Ah. Uh, Vasquez, Hicks, Drake, probably one of the best characters in that movie, Wabowski, it's Flame Unit, uh, Dietrich, Flame Unit, Crow, did we have a Crow card? I don't remember. Did I see a Crow? Maybe I am missing one. Oh no, there he is. And Bishop, Bishop will not use weapons, but his strength and endurance give him excellent melee value. Bishop will not use, oh, same on both sides. Hudson. And Frost with his flame unit. Then we're on to the last stack of cards, which, oh god. <laughs> we got one room, two room, two alien. Four sentry, a queen, another room, more sentry, and a couple more rooms. So, queen alien, we'll start with this card. That is a beautiful image of the queen with the smoke coming off her. Oh, that's a room card. So, <laughs> flip it over and it's got the queen. Okay, these are probably sentry. I guess you flip these when you're searching a room. So, empty, you find an alien find an alien, you find a face hugger, you find an alien. So chances are you are finding a terrible, terrible monster. Sentry guns, a little bit of paint on this one, that might actually come off. It's old enough that it may scrape off, but I'm not going to do that here. Alien, alien, empty, alien, empty, empty, alien, alien, alien. Chances are extremely high you will find an alien every time. But there you go. That is the contents of Aliens This Time It's War by Leading Edge. Let me know. If you want me to try and work out how to play a game, I will give it a go. Just got to make sure you drop me a comment down below. Otherwise, uh, say hi and leave a little egg image down there for me to find. And until next time, cheers for watching. Bye-bye.